Look, got such a great show today. We have it all covered, all bases. I love the theme of this show. It really is that you can do big things no matter your age, and we mean it today. <laughs> we literally have from 8 to 80 in this show today, and I'm telling you, you won't forget any of our guests. But we're starting out with our first guest today, who, when he was in his 20s, Rolling Stone magazine declared he was already on his way to becoming a renaissance man. I love that. Tristan Mackwild. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Gang fame at the young age of 16, playing Michael Lee, a promising but troubled student living on the streets of Baltimore in the show that is iconic, The Wire. He went on to star in the reboot of Beverly Hills 90210, The Secret Life of Bees, and the George Lucas film Red Tails, which was amazing. But here's the deal. Oh, that movie was so good. Here's the deal, not to be put in a box, Tristan pivoted to music, releasing his first album, R&B, by the way, in 2013, titled New York, A Love Story. It earned him his first Grammy nomination. Such a talented person. Well, now, Tristan's back on the screen alongside our friend Chloe Bailey and Quavo in a Peacock musical comedy called Praise This. Tristan plays Pastor Nick P.G. Goodman, who oversees an underdog choir praise team entering a national competition. Take a look. Hey, hey, hey. Here y'all are. I just wanted to give y'all a little encouragement before y'all head out there. I know it's not easy showing up after a loss, but being here, getting ready to face these people again. Yeah, they hate us. But staring down your fear, that's the win. All right? Well, we're definitely victorious, because we are terrified. <laughs> stop, stop. You guys are good. You got it, all right? I love y'all. Come on, come on. All factory. Uh, yes, sir. Sam, hmm. you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm just wondering, where's Melissa at? Oil factory, you're up after champion life. Pastor, you can't be back here. Oh, OK. Um, hey, go out there, kill. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Please welcome Grammy nominated singer, songwriter, and actor, Kristen Mack Wild. from this audience is how I feel when I see you because I feel like we have watched you just grow up and just keep doing big things <laughs> at each part of your chapter. Um, I read something that you posted recently um, about the child that still lives inside of you. And you said it mm -hmm. in an interview, you said, anytime I wanted to do anything creative, instead of being like, no, you need to focus on this, I wasn't really stifled. I was able to just fully realize any type of creative idea I had. So I think that there was always the same dreams. I still have the same dreams of grandeur. I still let that child in me dream. Yeah. You let, and I think that's so important. I, I tell people, I look at, look for my seven-year-old self all the time. Yeah. And I think, what does she think of my life and what would she do? Exactly. Uh, for me, it's the 11-year-old version of myself. And I just, I constantly look to impress him yeah. at every step of the way. You know, I think, with music, with film, anything, any endeavor that I try to touch on, it's really something that's constantly looking for the validation from him. What, why the 11 year old? Because I know at 11, your dad had a barbershop. Yes. Wu-Tang Clan were uh -huh. customers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at 11 in this world. Why 11 year old you? I think that was when I first started to realize, I guess, what I wanted to do, or just being creative. I think that was the first time that I started writing my first, first pieces of poetry, the first time that I could actually realize I knew how to sing, that I wanted to act, and, and it, everything kind of stemmed from that age, just wanting to be as creative as possible. Now here you are in this different energy of praise this. <laughs> you are playing a pastor. I know, Pastor I know. P.G. Goodman. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you prepare to play a pastor? It's just a lot of watching other pastors. Yeah. I was I was one, I'm always somebody who constantly tries to 
absorb things from watching different people, yeah. seeing how they maneuver through certain spaces and watching like Pastor Kenyon, watching like Pastor Mike Jr. Yeah. And all of these guys that I over already watch every Sunday. Yeah. It was something that kind of made me tap into PG even more. Well, see, I am from the South, so praise teams, you uh -huh. know. I'll you're a New Yorker. Born and raised. Were yes, you around that? Color? Look, it's a shout out. Here. Born and raised. Yeah. Um, <laughs> were you around the the, the praise team? Because I I was never allowed in because I couldn't dance or sing, or and I'm not coordinated. So. But my cousins were all in on praise team. They would get it. The only time that I've actually been on a a choir, a choir. or something like that was to impress a girl. Oh. Yeah. That's a good reason. That's a good only reason. Only time. The only time. <laughs> And it lasted maybe a week. That is it. I realized very quickly that it, that wasn't the way to impress it. You're also starring in the hit Apple TV Plus series, Swagger. Yes. It's a drama yeah. inspired by the early life of NBA superstar Kevin Durant. You're executive producer. He's the executive, executive producer, producer of the producer, show. Yes, O'Shea Jackson is in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Kwanzaa Wallace. You've yes. got a whole all-star cast. They actually gave us a sneak peek for the TAM fam. You play Alonzo, a young executive at a sneaker uh -huh. company. Let's play it. So I was wondering if you could uh, withstand another donation. Mm, what would that look like exactly? Well, I'm, I'm sure Mike told you that I work with Gladiator Sneakers, correct? That he did mention that. Mm -hmm. Well, we believe that the development of youth athletes uh, is of the utmost importance. So we would love to outfit your entire Cedar Cove Mustangs. Cross country, water polo, soccer, football, baseball. And, and basketball. Especially basketball. And you'd outfit our entire athletics just because of one team? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. We'll outfit your entire athletics because of one player. 